Well, hello, vinyl community. It's Jacob coming to you again from the Dallas Open Micer YouTube channel. This is just minutes after I uh, filmed the last video there. It's uh, vinyl finds from August 14th, 2022. Got some more records to show you, but before I jump into that, I'll do a little show and tell. Um, some of you may know my brother Titus had been visiting, and uh, just a little housekeeping here. Um, so Titus, I did find your. Uh, your uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneer shorts that you left behind. I'll be able to uh, put those in the mail. They've been uh, they've been washed and are uh, are clean. Um, also found. Forgot to give you this um, while you were out here. It's another Igor and the uh, Red Elvises T-shirt for you. Those Elvises there, amazing drawing. Um, so anyway, I'll I'll get those into the uh, into the mail for you relatively soon, Titus. Um, um, good to good to hear from you today, and uh, was happy uh, you're uh, you're back at your uh, back shopping at your local record store. Um, now, uh, thank you, uh, Martin Vinyl Scavenger, for the nice shout out in your recent video. Um, you had mentioned. Uh, um, Sheffield Soccer Club. Um, never heard of those fellas, but uh, you know I am happy to have uh, recently discovered this Dr. Sheffield's uh, all-natural toothpaste, uh, fluoride-free. Uh, this is my very first tube of it. Uh, some uh, good stuff. I highly recommend it. I don't know if you uh, get it across the pond there, but uh, could be a lot of fun because since uh, 1850. Oh yeah, so that probably predates that old soccer club uh, you were talking about in your video. Um, I had been looking around. I had uh, one one piece of soccer memorabilia. It was a scarf from a uh, a soccer match I went to, but uh, I couldn't find it. Um, but I did find a pin. You had shown pins in your your video. This is a uh, Sun Records pin. Um, so there we have it. Um, Oh, what does it say there? Um, Sun Studio. Maybe, maybe I should uh, buy a jacket and I could put it on there or something. Very nice pin. Um, and then, uh, you know, I'm going to show you some records I uh, picked up today uh, as a consolation prize for not uh, feeling well enough to, to drive down to the uh, Billy Joe Shaver tribute uh, concert uh, down in Waco, Texas. Um, while I was driving to the the record store, I was listening to the, this compact disc. Uh, what was the name? Bob Desper. Uh, learned about this fellow from uh, Andy over at Next Play Records. Um, too hot to uh, order the uh, reissue of this record in the mail, but uh, went with the CD. And uh, hopefully, when the weather cools off, I'll uh, be able to pick up a, a copy of this at a reasonable price on uh, on LP um, this is kind of a uh, uh, folky uh, folky gospel music from folky singer songwritery gospel music from the 70s good stuff all right so now I'll show you some clearance finds that I picked up that uh, you know there's there's no country in this batch uh, so if you uh, if you didn't like the country music in my last video um, you know this uh, this could be the video for you um, here we have this uh, this Bruckner fellow um, symphony number no. nine say a uh, double disc set and then it's on that uh, glorious uh, glorious tulip label all right you might not be a fan of classical music but who isn't a fan of the big broadcast of 1932. Um, I got to see this film at the Old Town Music Hall in El Segundo, California. It's got, uh, you know, Cab Calloway, uh, Bing Crosby, the Mills Brothers, uh, Burns and Allen, the Boswell Sisters. Um, am I leaving anybody out? Oh, Kate Smith, uh, Donald Novus, don't remember who he was, uh, and uh, Burns and Allen, and uh, you know, Cab Calloway singing Minnie the Moocher years before Blues Brothers right there got this terrible amateurish drawing on the cover but uh, hopefully this will be a, 
a good enough listen. I'm not expecting uh, audiophile quality from the soundtrack label. Soundtrack. So there's no, uh, no D. It's not sound. Soundtrack. Fascinating. All right. I got this one. Uh, this is, uh, who is it? Rubenstein and Shearing here. Um, it's uh, not a living stereo, but uh, I do like both of these guys quite a bit, and uh, Beethoven's no slouch, so I thought I'd uh, pick this up for a, for a song in the clearance section. You got the uh, uh, David Wilcox here, Hymns for All Seasons. So you could sing a, a hymn in, in July and then sing it in, uh, in February and it would still be just as fitting. Fantastic. Here we've got a, a Decca. It's that, uh, that English Decca early stereo stuff. This is a, a journey into stereo sound. So uh, you can travel back in time to when stereo was brand new and you could wonder what it was like to hear racing cars at Goodwood, or uh, train sequences, or uh, under the bridges of Paris. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, could be a lot of fun. Um, fancy stereo sounds brought to you by Decca. Here we have the fancy stereo recording of Duke Ellington's music by somebody named Billy Byers. Uh, over, overseen uh, the production here by Quincy Jones. And then here they're, uh, they're letting you know how fancy and smart all of the engineering was that went into this. It's got perfect presence, sound, uh, amazing. I think I'll put this in my Duke Ellington section. Unless it sounds terrible, and then I'll put it in a, a cardboard box with other records in storage. Um, here we have a Hi-Fi Spectacular, but at the same time, it's in uh, Living Stereo. Is that uh, French Seesaw guy. And some more French stuff. Um, very, uh, very chewed up looking. But, promotional sample there. On the white label promo. Well, that, uh, that does it for my video here, folks. I'm uh, trying to, uh, you know, you know, reform, uh, reform my uh, my old ways when I would make uh, all these these incredibly long videos um, that were just you know self indulgent navel gazing masterpieces. Um, that uh, you know, I think the, uh, um, the the length was was a bit uh, a, a bit much. Um, you know, to to impose on the casual viewer who might stumble across the video so uh, you know to give you all a fighting chance of getting through these things i've i've tried to uh keep these things shorter anyway if you want to see uh, one of my longer videos um well i could post a post a link to one of those over there sometimes i can you know get well past you know 45 minutes plus so uh we'll see i'll, I'll find a long one for you and put it put it up there and uh, uh maybe you'll maybe you'll enjoy that one all right, uh, I think I'll be making another video in a few minutes, although I'll uh, probably post it in a few few days from when I post this one, uh, if not, maybe even even longer. Well, anyway, that's uh, that's all for now. I'll uh, be seeing you soon.